as we move towards a, a digital age and in terms of the consumerization of healthcare, it's going to be increasingly more important that people are proactive in looking after their health and I think digital technologies will help play, play a role. The more we understand about our health and our well-being, the more we understand from the data that we collect every day on how we can predict better health outcomes for ourselves, uh, the more I suppose we will be able to self-manage at home. And as we are operating in a health system which is going to be responding to the main burdens of healthcare, which are around the increasing proportion of older people who are um, in the health system, and by the time we get to 2050, it's estimated that as much as 33% of the population will be over 65 in modern health systems. Um, that represents a considerable number of people who are going to be requiring service and less people were in the age group um, able to provide that service. So that calls upon health systems to provide greater creativity and innovation in terms of the way that we are approaching uh, care delivery. Proact is beginning to map out the care pathways for individuals over 65 living with multiple chronic health conditions. Uh, very little is developed in this realm. Uh, we hope to, to map it out and also bring technology to uh, advancing how we treat people with multiple chronic health conditions, particularly those over 65, um, and also how the health services will link in to support those individuals. And I think that's quite unique in terms of what we're advancing. The second key unique aspect of PROACT is the development of the new cloud-based analytics system. We are aiming within the program to design a very um, unique behavioural change framework which will allow us to understand how individuals can adopt to using digital technologies and how we can empower them in the home. What the great thing about PROACT is, it's bringing together both health and social care into one common uh, ecosystem. And for PROACT, what Philips is contributing is a lot of the technology, the underlying technology, and how we build the end-to-end -end system. So we have a back-end system that receives data from the sensors. We have patient-facing uh, soft solutions as well so that we can uh, measure readings, uh, physiological parameters from the patient, also do surveys as well. Uh, but we also provide solutions for other people who are participating in the whole healthcare continuum. So these are the formal carers, the informal carers as well, which might be uh, your, uh, your, your neighbours or your, um, your, your close family as well, who might also be helping you with your, uh, with your healthcare. I think that current systems are actually great. They're integrated in multiple ways, sometimes horizontally, sometimes vertically. In the end, if you think about it, it is the care workers that do this final piece of integration. So you go to the doctor, the doctor may have access to many different systems, uh, pulling in information from multiple devices, and they, they use this together with their experience and their intuition to help you get the best outcomes. The big bet is to uh, build, uh, give them systems that will make their job easier, safer and more efficient and at the same time make the systems more pleasant to use. So it should, it should be something that care workers want to do. So as part of the Proact activity we're, we're building this end-to-end uh, -end system, a whole ecosystem that also allows third parties to bring in their solutions as well. So we're not just providing solutions from Philips or from IBM or from other Proact partners, but we're providing an ecosystem that allows third parties to bring in their own solutions and put them simply on top of our uh, Proact ecosystem. So my role in the Proact program is project coordinator. Um, I'm responsible for overseeing the development of the programme and linking in with the European Commission to make sure that we deliver uh, on all of the tasks uh, and deliverables that we have signed up to in the programme. The PROACT project represents a, a, a very significant milestone in the development of the Centre for Practice and Healthcare Innovation. The centre was set up a number of years ago and its main mission is to achieve uh, creative and innovative solutions to some of the challenges in modern healthcare delivery. Home and State Senior Care has a mission statement to enhance the lives of older people and their families. In order to do that, we know we cannot just do it by having caregivers because there simply isn't enough caregivers in the world to look after the amount of older people that need to be cared for in their homes. Therefore, we need to involve technology to help us with the management, the monitoring, of the chronic health conditions of older people in their homes.
Home Estate Senior Care are very excited to be involved in this programme. We see our involvement as a test market whereby the programme can look at uh, caregivers, uh, older family members and look at the need for technology in order to be able to keep them continuing to live in their home for longer than otherwise possible. Well, as a centre uh, devoted to develop technologies for people with disability, we hope that participating in the pro project may help us to uh, build an important network with important partners like VM, Philips and other university academic partners and others. And it will help us to develop new technologies to uh, allow our users to live better and longer lives. This is a, a very critical project for, for Trinity College and indeed for the School of Nursing and Midwifery and the Centre for Practical Healthcare Innovation. It feeds very much in with the agenda of the Faculty of Health Sciences and I'm particularly pleased as the Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences. If you look at our website and the mission on our website very much talks about uh, our mission being about the, the, fine, the highest quality of care being offered to each patient and about the pursuit of, uh, of excellence and about the creation and the building of research which would really bring about innovative solutions to complex health concerns. I think PROACT is, is absolutely captures all of those, of those particular areas. At the end of the day, the big impact is on older people's quality of life. If we can help older people to self-manage their conditions, um, be better informed, particularly when they're more complex, when they've got a couple of a couple of pathologies around, if we can get that quality of life and that self-management and that empowerment, we've got a really, really smart system and a really smart way of being able to go forward that we can, I think, not only get right in the region and get right in the trials, but it becomes a real basis for being able to, to spread out and grow and build replication and scale and get some of these solutions right out to, you know, not just across Ireland but across Europe because the need is quite strong and, and I think if we can if we can really get that quality in place we'll be we'll be home and dry.